Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on with my Certified Admin mini course. And today we're gonna to be going over some more record level security. Today we're gonna to be diving into sharing rules. Sharing rules helps when we have a rule hierarchy and we want an automated process to share rules with people or share records with people who wouldn't automatically share records within this role hierarchy. So again, just to remember, our Financial Analysts A group cannot see any records from the Financial Analysts A2 group and vice versa, as well as the CFO cannot see any of the COO's records unless it is shared with them. So let's go ahead and set up an automation to share records from Financial Analysts A role to Financial Analysts A2 role. In our search, we're gonna go and go to sharing settings. As you can see, most of these objects do have grant access using hierarchies enabled. These are what we call organizational wide defaults and it shows and it will, it will tell us what the different defaults for the records within Salesforce are. So you can see that the goals object is set to private. However, the case object is public read, write, or transfer for both internal and external access. So let's go ahead and set up an account sharing rule. This label is going to be share with A to A2. Now you see there are two different types of rules here. We can have a rule based on the record owner, which is what we're gonna do, but also a rule based on criteria. So if we change it, say we have a given field, if it equals or is close to or is greater than a certain value, then it will be shared. So you do have a lot of different options as far as customizations here. But we're gonna share with roles so any accounts owned by Financial Analyst A will be shared with anyone in the Financial Analyst A2. So we do have a few other options. You can do roles and subordinates. So Financial Analyst A2, if they also had a group that was Financial Analyst B2 underneath them, they would also be able to see these records or public groups, which we'll go into those in another video. We do have a few other options. There are three different access sharing levels. You can have it be private, read only, or read write. So I'm gonna have it be read write on accounts, but opportunity access is only read only, as well as case access for those accounts. So let's go ahead and click save. And okay. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see that we created the account sharing rule to share the accounts from Financial Analyst A to A2. A few things to note is that sharing rules are not two ways. So, because now Financial Analyst 2 can see Financial Analyst A records, that does not mean the other, the inverse of that is true. So any records A2 has, group A cannot see. So you will need to create two different sharing rules if you want that relationship to be reciprocal. Thank you for joining me for today's video going over sharing rules. Be sure to like and subscribe and drop down in the comments if you have any questions regarding sharing rules or you would like another example of those. And I will catch you guys in the next